Okay, it's Ron, and I'm here with Brian. Brian, and I was interested to talk to you about a recent project that you did for a credit union right. where you were taking their SharePoint install and you want to do some social things with it. Right. Be because yes. they originally had a SharePoint install, well, they still have a SharePoint install, right. where it was dealing with um, ECM, where electronic uh, content management. They were taking paper documents right. for loans, scanning them tagging them, routing them for workflow, right. and using SharePoint as a central workflow routing engine. Right. But now we wanted to take SharePoint and make it more social, more Web 2.0, more Facebook-y. That's right. And so what did, they, what did the credit union do to make things more social? So first of all, they have an intranet okay. internally. An intranet is where they host all their different departmental sites. Human resources, yeah. finance, as well as a lot of kind of public facing sites okay. where they disseminate information about different departments in their in their corporation. Okay. So on top of that now, they wanted to add my sites. Okay. Which is SharePoint 2010's way of more of a social network built behind your own firewall, maintained by your IT okay. department. Now, now I've seen my sites, oh, and in yeah. fact, we we use it. We play yes. with it here a bit, but we don't use it fully right. within our own company. No. But it's it's uh, to me today, it's really nothing more internally. We haven't fully adopted it ourselves for usage, right. and we we really should. Right. It's the shoemaker not having good shoes. But it, to me, it comes across as just a glorified phone directory, because I right. I'm on my SharePoint internally, and in the top right. I can click my name and I can go to my profile That's right. yeah. and it's got an image of me and, and because of AD, That's it pulls right. in my phone number and where I am. Your apartment, your email, yeah. oh, etc. So, so what, what more are they, what is the credit union plan to use it for? Okay, so yeah, let's work out first. And I'm what talking too much, Brian. <laughs> it's okay, so good, it's so okay. Because, okay. you know, there's all the functionality of what my size brings to the table, but let's look at the business reasons that was appropriate for this company and why they're yeah. trying to implement my sites because yeah. a lot of people have a, have challenges with opening up intranets, allowing people to create their own content, allowing people yeah. to even post their own documents. Yeah. Which, which is why I thought this talk would be interesting because right. I'm interested to hear a real world example okay. it's a credit union, financial right. services, right. how are they going social? So these guys are in a geographical area, which isn't in, in some metropolitan area. Um, so it's a little bit more out of the way. Right. And they have eight separate physical locations okay. dispersed over a few hundred kilometers. Okay. So you may look at one team, let's say loans team, right. that will be present in every single physical location, but they're all part of one you know, organizational team. Now, so, now it's a bank we're talking about, a credit, it's a bank, it's credit So a member could go to any one of those eight sites? Right. From a member point of view, they can go to any one of those eight sites. They can buy the same products from any one of the physical locations. However, yes. what they were finding is that silos were forming in these physical locations where different people would have different skill sets, different people didn't know what was happening in other physical branches. The communication, there was a communication gap that they were trying to work out a way of you know, breaking down those silos. So, so how does my sites help them collaborate? Right. So there's obviously the, the the other side of collaboration where they have team sites and everyone goes there for their team's documents and their team wiki and their team discussion board and they're going to have team-specific conversations. The my sites were, were now taking that uh, social collaboration to the next level where everyone gets to see what everybody else is interested in what everybody else okay. is. Okay, so I go to the my site, I'm on my page for my profile, right. I jump to your page. Right. So is, is it like Facebook, I've got a wall? So, yes, it is a little bit like Facebook. You've got like a, a wall with a note, a note entry where you can post notes to you or to and any other user. Note, that's that note right. board on the front. So one of the ways to think of that is it's Late at night, you're going through some documentation, uh, you find something that may be interesting for a specific person in your organization, you click on the author of that content and you say, hey, you need to revise these numbers, uh, you know, uh, or take a look at this article that I've just found that's just been published by Gartner, um, something like that. So mm -hmm. it's kind of social media where you would do a, f 
a wall posting like Facebook, yes. where you would say, you know, this is, you know, Ron, check this out, or hey, Ron, this is what I did today, and maybe you'd be interested in it as well. So you post to somebody else's, you post to somebody else's wall, right? And and so there's that parallel. So that's that kind of that first page. The other thing is in your my site settings, you can mark off what your interests are. So let's say you are in the loans area. Right. You're gonna type in, you know, loans and mortgages and finance and you know, maybe some of those other pertinent key keywords okay. that are managed in a central managed metadata store. Yes. And so as soon as any of other people start tagging documents, start using the site, start yes. using those tags. Though that content starts appearing on my page where I've got the tags feed. that I like. That's right. Uh, so it's dependent on other people tagging their documents. It, it, it is a social aspect. Okay. It, there needs to be you know, some kind of a, a social interaction for right. things to be you know, precipitated down and filtered down right. to, to you. So, so it sounds like there's a bit of a snowball effect there where you have to get everyone right. in the organization tagging things and people using the board and, and so forth. And it, and it is a social experiment, right? So as people start to use it, they're going to get value out of it. You can maybe you're trying to work out the best people to fit on a specific team. So you search yes. for, you know, hey, I need someone who's a specialist in this area. Yes. Let me search the MySite profiles to see what, you know, people's job history is or... or what projects they've been on in the past, or what okay. their skill sets are. Hey, I just found someone who may be out of town, or maybe in a different department. And who's tagged and written this document that's in the document library. Just written this document, or just posted a blog, or you know okay. has these interests on their on their my side, okay. you know properties. Okay. Now I can start having a, a reasonable conversation with them about. And that's that why this person really wanted to. So as you start to use it. The more people you start to, you know, gather in and, and the snowball effect. It starts so okay. small, but right. think about it in a year's time. Yes. Right? Think about it in two years' time. Think about it when all the Facebook generation starts getting hired at your corporation. And they're and using, using Facebook using and this, now they're using SharePoint. Right. This, this is their backyard. They're very used to posting things on the walls. They're very used to tagging things. They, they want to be able to find content very quickly. And, and, and so, so this is how the credit union wanted to use it. They got it. eight dispersed sites. Their employees right. will have the my sites. That's and right. they're getting their employees to start tagging things, tagging things and right. using their notebook. Right. And okay. looking at uh, organizational hierarchy. Okay. It's one of the tabs. You know, right. who else is my peer? Who, who do they work for? Who works, you know, for me, etc., etc. Across so, the different sites, right. so you can oh, see the okay. pictures from their SharePoint Active Directory, right. and right there, it's very easy to, to okay. find out, you know, maybe someone else who does a similar job to you. Okay, let's not go too far okay. now because I like to I want to keep it short, not right. too long. Um, you do a lot of SharePoint projects. That's a right. Lot. Not many companies are using my sites yet. You, you know what? I would say out of the last few projects that have been involved, I would say yes. at least 50% it's on the table. But it's not deployed? No, being like to be deployed. Oh really? And to be kind of encouraged. Okay. Like some incentive Okay. for users to actually use their my sites, publish content, right. um, you know, participate in a social okay. way. Okay. So there's like legitimate incentive programs being offered by the, the company to try and get that snowball effect. Okay. And I would say the other half, it's at least on their radar. It's right. definitely not something that people are scratching off off the bat. Right. Um, because I think Okay, let's do another people are really interested in, in, in what it does bring to the table. And one of the big things is like, oh my god, people are gonna abuse it, people are just gonna be posting yeah. things. You know, as soon as you realize that everything you post is tagged with your Active Directory name, you know, <laughs> you're not going to abuse it. Right? It's yeah, not going to be as no, abused no. As, as much as you. you yeah, I agree. Think. I don't, I don't, I don't buy in on right. that people will abuse it. Right. But uh, let's, hey, let's okay. leave it for that another video. Good. You know what? I'm curious to hear on another video. Okay. You say about fifty percent of the projects you're doing, they want to use the my yes. sites. Um, I'm curious about another quick video to talk about what you've seen. Uh, companies have used as incentives to get right. their employees actually yeah, using my sex on SharePoint. Right. Okay, cool. Hey Brian, okay. where can people find you on the web? At knowledgetech.com. Okay, and I'm rondajuicy.com and I'm at knowledgetech as well. Thanks.